Toy break. Toy break. Toy break. Hi, and welcome to Toy Break episode 64. I'm George. <laughs> I'm Aileen. I'm Scott. <laughs> so let's start off with a voicemail. This is a, this is a very fun voicemail that we got. Hey, this is uh, Hal Works from Indiana. And I'm calling to tell you that uh, the little hole in the bottom of the Mighty Mugs is for accessories. There's only one that has an accessory, which is Silver Surfer. But um, I get off their backs. They're pretty cool. I enjoy collecting them, and it kind of curves my appetite from designer vinyl toys, and they don't cost as much. They're easy to find here in Indiana because we are a black hole for vinyl toys. So, yeah, just give them a little more love. They are kind of dumb, but they're fun. So, that's all I've got. Goodbye. That was a fun voicemail. So, <laughs> the Mighty Mugs' greatest fan says eh, they're dumb, but they're fun. <laughs> what awesome. is the accessory? I guess it's probably his surfboard mm, good for point. the Silver Surfer. Mm. I don't know, I didn't buy it because it's stupid. Because it's a Mighty Mug? They're still really stupid. Yeah. Thanks for calling in, How it Works. I like Thanks for like, watching. They're cheap. And they're dumb, but <laughs> I like them. <laughs> All right, there you go. From the greatest Mighty Mugs fan. The greatest. <laughs> or the Thanks only one to call in. I guess he's just grateful to have anything. Yeah, I mean, it is true that That's true. you can at least get it in small towns. You can get it at any pretty pretty much anywhere. Targets or Toy Drops. Or... You know what, though? There is the internet. We can all get anything from anywhere. I know. There's no like lack of being able to get something in an area if you have the internet. And even if you don't have a credit card, you can get one of those prepaid... We know he has the internet because he's Things. watching our show. Oh, yeah, good point. We know he so. has the internet. I think he watches the live version that tours the states. Oh, oh yes. yes. Remember that? We went to Indiana and we did the live the show. Theater, open air theater style, mm. Shakespearean toy break. Those are always good times. I hate those guys. <laughs> <laughs> so, how about our current contest that we have going on right now? Am I going to read it again? How about it? You're so good at it. Mezco Toys Jason Contest. The legendary slasher of Camp Crystal Lake strikes again in the all-new Friday 13th film. The newest Friday 13th film is a terrifying revision of the iconic horror franchise. The Jason Voorhees figure is crafted with incredible detail and comes with an array of weapons used in the film. Each figure stands over 7 inches tall and is fully articulated. Expect Jason to slash his way onto store shelves around February 13th. Friday the 13th. To win your very own Jason figure from Mezco Toys, head over to the contest section on our forum and tell us which Friday the 13th movie is your favorite and why. Deadline is February 11th, because we chose that. Screw you, Friday the 13th. And check out Mezco.net for more. Well, if it's Friday the 13th, then it gets pushed back a week. I know, because I, this, that, okay. I know why we did it. So, yeah. don't forget to go over to the contest and enter to win Jason, which is awesome. So thank you, Mezco, for providing that. And also thank you to our sponsors. Like? Three Doctor Etro. Oh, they're back? Yeah, they, they finally paid up. <laughs> nice. Cheap bastards. <laughs> Panicstoybox.com. And fuzzyballsapparel.com. So, on to the news. Boop, 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 boop. News. First up, the fantastic exclusive voting is open! Yay! Hooray! Choose your favorite of 28 designs and weigh in on the next awesome figure that the Four Horsemen will create. You can go over to fantasticexclusive.com to vote now. And don't click on the wrong one because you can only vote once. Yes, when it says click here to vote, only click there when you want to vote for that thing. Unlike Mongo, George. whose name you can click on... <laughs> And it opens up a new picture of Mongo, but then if you click on someone else, it does not open up a picture. It votes for them, which is the mistake I made when I wanted to vote for Mongo. But all of them, are, all of the designs are so cool. You should really all just any vote of them... for Mongo. Yeah, Mongo's rad. Chris Kattan's a really good actor. <laughs> I like that, that you knew his Mango, name. Wow. Uh, yeah, remember? From that was Mango. Four Horsemen. <laughs> oh right? yeah. How about that. birdlets? How about those birdlets? They're By delicious. Ackle. Ackle birdlets. Three and a half inch resin figures set to be released at the end of February with 20 pieces regular brown colorway for 25 pounds each. Wow, wow three and a half inches heavy. and they weigh 25 pounds. <laughs> Go to ackle.co.uk. <laughs> see, see, we made a joke about monetary conversion. <laughs> We're silly. Molly Balmer by Patrick Chow 
and G999, wow, that's an awesome name. <laughs> 13 inch vinyl figure releasing this month with a suggested retail price of $62. Is that only a suggestion? <clears throat> I believe so. I'll trade them a handful of beans. That's they might my suggestion. <laughs> Depends. Balmer is a unique creation, which is different from the vinyl world, and is made... Why does it say that? This is a direct quote from the press release. Okay, that sounds like a really bad advertisement. <laughs> Balmer is a unique creation, which is different from the vinyl world, which is pretty pretty standard, generic. It is made of... Tra <laughs> Made by tradition, handcraft, skill, and connected by hooks and rubber strings. I think they need a better translator wow. on that. That is terrible. That is a really bad representation of your product. And it's insulting <laughs> to the crowd you're trying to sell it to. I want to know about the hooks and rubber strings. I think it's like an old G.I. Joe. Strings, <laughs> which is old, it's an old G.I. Joe figure. The way they have oh, the yeah, rubber and band you pull goes it through and then there. It Unlike and then the vinyl world. It. And then in five Our years it deteriorates, unique. falls apart, and you're Kinda left like with Scott. two pieces. <laughs> but you could go to alivenotdead.com slash patrick-chow to check out the artist's blog and Whew. see what he's up to. I'm glad you said all that. That's Molly what I do. Balmer. That's what I do. You say stuff. Yeah. Also out is the Coraline Bendy Fashion Doll Set by NECA. This set of three bendable Coraline action figures based on Neil Gaiman's work includes casual outfit, pajamas outfit, and raincoat outfit. $42, you get all three from entertainmentearth.com. Yay, can you, pajamas! Can you read that again with more disappointment in your voice? <laughs> bendable Coraline. The really? Coraline movie looks cool. No, it doesn't. I don't know. It looks like a, a Cottonelle commercial. It does it look does like look the like... same tissue commercial, definitely. The same people probably made it. Yeah. So that's why it's dumb. Yeah. So bendable action figures, all right. I like I, Neil Gaiman. I like Henry Selleck's work. I don't like bendy toys. I don't like bendy toys. I liked either. Gumby. That's when there were no other that, toys that's out. That's when to you buy. had to settle with Gumby. You had Gumby <laughs> or a stick you could play with. So I like sticks. Gumby was bendable, so he was cooler. <laughs> You settled for it and dreamt of the future. I made Gumby play with the stick. See, I was creative. I used them all together. You cheated on Pokey with a stick? <laughs> We're not going to get into that. Not bringing up the past. Ugly Doll Action Figures by David Horvath. These were first available at New York Comic Con, and David Horvath has assured fans that there will be plenty more available, so if they've sold out, he says, don't go to eBay. There's going to be plenty more, so... It's Ugly yeah. Dolls. You'll be able to get them everywhere. Each case of these contains one full set of the figures, so if you want a set, you can buy a case and you get it. It's it's blind box, but you know that you're going to get a full set in the case, so that's kind of cool. They We don't have the pricing yet, but you can watch UglyDolls.com, and I believe individually they'll be less than $10 a piece. But the case is $20,000. True. Ghostbusters, 21st and... 20, 21st? 21st? <laughs> With a five as first? Yeah. 21st anniversary <laughs> figures by Mattel. That sounds ominous. 12-inch <laughs> figures will debut in June exclusively at MaddieCollector.com, followed by 6-inch figures sculpted by the four horse seamen, one of which will release at San Diego Comic-Con. Ooh, they're going to release the four horsemen. So. <laughs> just going to let them out of the gate. Just, just one of them. I hope it's Corn Boy. <laughs> Mattel will also create characters and ghosts from the classic animated series, Boo, the real Ghostbusters, to go along with the classic Ghostbusters film. Did you just boo? Yes, that was a boo. Why? Because that those cartoon characters suck. You suck. I want Bill Murray. Well, that's the cool thing, is these are the first, the 12-inch, and I, I'm not sure about the 6-inch, I think the 6-inch, too, are the first Ghostbuster toys based on the movie likenesses. Yes! That's, that's awesome. a good part. That's what, so that's what NECA screwed up when they didn't do any of the humans in their yeah. Ghostbusters line and they just made the dumb ghosts. The stuff nobody wants. Remember in the movie when they were trying Here's to get rid of ghosts? Commissioner. I do. And nobody wanted the ghosts? Do you remember when they the humans that were good? announced yeah. the 25th anniversary toys and I was freaking excited for them? Yay! Yes. Something to look forward to this summer. Flying box? Flying box! Let's do that. Do you guys know what time it is? Flying box time! What do we have today, George? These are Vinylmation Park Number One. I don't know why it's called Vinylmation Park Number One, but that's Park? the name. 
Uh, these are the Disney three inch collectible figures. It's awesome that because it's Disney and they're kind of a huge entity, they have to put right on the top no refunds, exchanges, or returns because since it's blind box and the regular people don't know what they're I buying. I don't want this one. This isn't what I wanted. Okay, so there's 12 designs, all based on parts of the Disneyland park or maybe characters from there. That one looks like the monorail. It says, <laughs> Vinylmation it is. is a new collectible vinyl series featuring original designs from Disney theme park merchandise. Available exclusively at Disney theme park merchandise locations, Vinylmation is available in 3-inch and 9-inch sizes. These are the 3-inch blind box, the 9-inch are are non-blind nine box. We're giants! Each package contains one of 12 different vinyl designs from one of our unique theme collections. Vinylmation is a new is a cool new Disney collectible. They have to I tell you that it's cool. I am reserving judgment on the cool until I open it. Although we saw the 9-inchers and I said, wow, those look really stupid. And then the girl in front of me bought one. Yeah. I saw all these in person at the park. They had them in a case. Yes. They look pretty cool. I think I like the that. design? I thought they mostly looked awful. Or the shape. I like the Kermit the Frog. Yeah. The shape is just kind of dumb. Okay, so which one does everybody want? I like that one to the left of Kermit. I don't know what that is. It's like a teacup thing? It looks or? like it's been left out in the I think it's supposed long. to be teacups. I like the, I want the face on it. I want the Kermit the Frog. Yeah, What's that one under Kermit where it just looks like a melted... I don't know what that looks like. I don't is know that? what that is. Well, we Haunted Mansion or Yeti for me. Them up. Yeti or Kermit for me. Ooh, two Yetis. Mine's not easy to open. Haunted Mansion one would be cool to get. And it's sticky. There's no, like, hair place on this. Oh, I think I know what I got already because there's a card inside. Don't oh, look at boo. the card. Boo! Boo! Okay. All right, I got a Kermit card. That's Sweet, it comes with a card that tells you what you got, so it completely eliminates the point of the bag in the balloon box. Ooh, I got a Kermit. Wow, these things stink. It doesn't have the tear thing like it should. So use your teeth. Yeah. Yeah, I got what was on the card. So don't look at the card if you want no. to be surprised when you unwrap it. Oh, I got the thing on my card. This is created by Monty Moldovan. Even though he just applied Kermit graphics. To hey, guess what? This isn't roto vinyl <laughs> at all. Oh, yeah. This is solid PVC. That is a PVC toy masquerading as a vinyl. It Boo! Is it roto vinyl? No. It's yeah. not. The head? No, it's got a parting line. No, it's not, yeah. So, it, I mean, technically it's vinyl because PVC is vinyl. Vinyl but core. it's not a roto vinyl like they're kind of yeah. pretending that it is. This is a new collectible vinyl series. Well, I guess if you go by the technical definition of PVC, the V means vinyl. Ouch. It's kind of I like heavy. the way the head comes off. Yeah, get a little plug. It's fun to make that noise. Yeah. Cool. Oh, it's like a penis in his neck. <laughs> Look at Is that. that. What a penis looks like? Um. <laughs> I've never seen one. <laughs> I don't I've know. got something different. Mine might not be a penis. <laughs> I don't know what this is supposed to be on mine. I think that's fireworks. Yeah, that's uh, oh. joyous fireworks. Oh yeah, look, there's the castle with fireworks. Oh yeah. Why didn't they put the castle on the front? Why is all? What is this one? From Celeste Cronrath. Mine's from Joe Ling. I don't know what that is. That's just it says looks smart like one. A piece of crap. You know what would have been cool is if they got artists in the designer vinyl scene to maybe do these. Or artists yeah. that were good. Like Vault 28, 28 does. You have Shag and Amanda Vassell already working in your park, basically. Hello. Yeah, they're wearing the Goofy and the Minnie Mouse yeah. costumes, right? What, you guys didn't know that? Look at this. Like, I knew that. Look at the design, how there's like fireworks everywhere. And then eh, this is maybe after the fireworks. There's like a couple. Have put down on them Tampa. Prince. This one is like the grand finale of the fireworks. <laughs> and the one that I got is the... First the shot. Act. Yeah. Oh, the Kermit's cool. Oh, yeah, hey, you want a Kermit toy? I do want a Kermit one. Hey, look at that piece of poo. The Mickey shape is awful, too. Yeah, it's real squatty and weird looking. It was cool when they had those gigantic the 50 Mickey Mickeys? statues. Oh, well, those yeah. were awesome. I always wanted them to do figures of that, like this. That's exactly. what they could have done. Just do that the 50 awesome. Mickeys like this. And they would have had all those famous artists and yeah. cause, I mean, all those people were big celebrities and personalities and big artists. They've already got the people, the designs were done. They were on Mickey's. Yeah. Just really, make the thing. Really well sculpted Mickey's, too. Yeah. It's like somebody at Disney was like, well, see, the kids, Let's they like these, in. like, kind of bloated figures. 
So let's make Mickey a little bloated. So let's make Mickey sort of retarded looking and uh, we'll get some people to throw stuff on him. And there's not even an original Mickey. Like they didn't even make no, one as Mickey. They didn't make Mickey. Oh, yeah. Mickey the black himself. one's kind of a Mickey. I guess, kind Ish. of, but no, that's, uh, that's Tron Mickey. Electric Light Parade, is that it? Oh, okay. Oh, is that what that's supposed that to be? What it's called? I kind of like the Figment, but he doesn't look like Figment because it's too stupid of a shape. What's Figment? He's the dragon from Epcot oh. and... Uh, He's the dragon that we He's in California in don't know. He's only in Disney World. He's purple and he's cute. You should go to Disney World and you can see. No. I don't know why they don't <laughs> have Figment here. Why didn't they bring him over here? Because we already had awesomeness and we didn't need your lame Figment from the other coast. Well, enjoy these really awful... Maybe that mystery... Cash-in... ...shape is Mickey. Yeah, they <laughs> Do the arms come out? How come when a comp whatever company has more and more money, their Great figures pack. get worse and worse? Because they have many, many more cooks in the kitchen. That must be what it is. And like one Hasbro thing tried to cash in, they made yeah. an awful Mighty Mug. They're designing by committee. Yeah. One thing that you learn after your first series is you don't put the scribe lines in for like where the eyes go and stuff. Because it's a platform toy. And people you have can do to, what they or want. it would look even less like Mickey though. It yeah, I didn't know they were Mickey until them. I just opened this box. Really? I didn't know it was supposed to be Mickey Mouse. I thought it was a You pair. saw them all and you had no idea? I had no idea until we just opened this. So, yeah. Uh, stupid. I thought it was a bear of some kind. <laughs> a Mickey bear. Well, it is like every, like all the key bear ears. Yeah. and I mean, it's what everything looks like. Yeah, Let's strange. make something that sort of retardedly looks like things that other people already made. Hey, idea. Disney. Maybe you should get some artists involved that are in the scene you're I trying to rip off. I don't think there's any artists in Disney. Is that an art-based thing? Do they do art? I know for a fact you have many fine artists working for you. Utilize your talent. These are probably good artists. <laughs> but they got this crappy platform <laughs> and not point. allowed to do that's what they want. That's a very good point. I'm sorry, that's true. Joe Ling Yip is probably a good... What was his name? <laughs> what? Oh, no. what was the guy's name on that? Joe Ling Yap is oh, probably Monty a talented artist. Maldo Vaughn. I'm moving on to reviews. Alright. Reviews! Reviews! First up we have Pooty. Yeah, we do. Pooty. Here's the box. Pooty. This is another Tuma, Tuma art toy. Um, simple box, easy for you to throw away because there's nothing good on it. That's your favorite thing. Pooty! Pooty. Makes me mad. So, again, by Tuma and Headlock Studios. Five inch vinyl figure available in gray, blue, or pink. You don't like rocket ship skunks? <laughs> He's like, <laughs> no. Isn't that what he does? That it's actually just, works that way. Can you make him sit that way? It's unnecessary no. vulgarity. They made sure that you couldn't sit it upside uh, down. Boo. It's just being vulgar just to be vulgar. It's not clever or fascinating in any way. So as you can see, it's a skunk farting. He's not farting, he's spraying his spray. Oh, he's spraying. That's funny, I thought of spraying. <laughs> ah, how funny. Skunks are stinky. Ah. But it's very uh, classic Tuma with the uh, little it's pointy teeth. got the same teeth. exact Tuma face as every other Tuma figure very ever made. Very much like that piggy Tuma. Or the dragon Tuma, or the Tuma key Yeah, toys. but with the nose, this one looks a little bit more piggy. It's so. not a Tuma. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a Tuma. <laughs> so, I think he's pretty cute. He's, uh, he's well made, simple colors. Paint's good. There he is, spraying his spray. Yeah. Stupid. What colors are they available in? Gray, blue, and pink. What do you think? I mean, it's made well. The paint is fine. Everything is... I don't think... Do the legs move? Oh, it oh, is. Oh, they do move. Kind, yeah, it's articulated, so you can... Can you move the spray? Oh, can you take that out? So he says a big... Probably, but... Big gaping poo hole. <laughs> a pooty hole. So if you want your own pootie, you can grab one for $48. I know they have them over at 3dretro.com and probably many of our other fine sponsors, checktoybreak.com. Or your other favorite vinyl stores, of course. The problem with that is I have a child to do <laughs> make childish things and laugh at farts. I don't need adults acting like children. What about I, I when don't we don't have children and we want to laugh at No, well, go ahead and laugh at childishness. Farts. I just don't like Oh. I don't think it's clever. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. That's kind of cool. The tail moves. If you could pull the cloud out and put the tail back, that could be really cool. 
They're tight, but they are joints. Everything is moving, it looks like. I had no idea. It looked like a solid figure. So I guess if you could pull the tail, if you could pull this thing out. You might have yourself a reasonable toy. Okay. Oh, that's just gross, though. You don't want to do that. <laughs> that's his pooty. All right. There. Oh, there you he's go. cute. All right. Now you got yourself a design. What do you think of that, Matt? I like it. It's pink. It's cool. I like he's skunks. Like a, a cute a pink, pink skunk. skunk. Yeah, I like it. Now it's better. Look how cute that is. All right. Love it. Yeah, that's a cool toy. Before, just don't. Forty-eight dollars. No, I would not pay forty-eight dollars for that. But what if it came with this beautiful gray cloud? <laughs> His friend, the mushroom cloud, or gray broccoli. <laughs> oh, they just hang out. It's <laughs> look, it's my friend, gray broccoli. <laughs> it's kind of like a uh, phallic, <laughs> many testicle, small penis, or just your um, little afro <laughs> pube. I was thinking it's more like a brain, or something. <laughs> All right, this is dumb. All right, All right moving, moving on. on. Next up, we have an Amazon action figure. Okay. Let's talk about this. This is something you can only get in Japan. Um, it's from Amazon.co.jp, which is the Japanese Amazon. Um, I left it in the Amaz I left it in the box it comes in because this is the box for the figure. And if you didn't know what the boxes from Amazon come look like from Japan, it is an exact replica of the box that you would get your packages in from Amazon Japan. Hilarious. So your box for your figure looks like the box that it comes in. And then you open it up. Hilarious. So this figure is by... How do you think you say this? Kyoto? Sure. Kyoto? Kyoto? Kyoto. 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 This is a Revolt Tech Danboard mini box version. That's the box version? This they had, the box a, they version. had a larger version of this. I think that's why this is the mini box yes, version. Yes, there was a 5-inch version, and we have the 3-inch version here. Here's and a, like you said, it only ships to Japan, so that's the, there's uh, the larger. The drawback. Yeah. Um, the cool thing is if you get 5 of these, there's some way that you can put them together. You can build that monster! To build a big, <laughs> giant one, which is pretty awesome. But he's also oh, that's rad. got little light-up eyes that you probably can't see there yet, but... We'll hold it up and show you. But he's really cool. <laughs> That's funny. And I he's, like the eyes. He's made he's to look like he's sculpted out of Amazon boxes. That's I don't funny. don't know what this is. It looks like um maybe it's something they do in okay. Japan. I don't know what that is. I have no idea, and I can't read any of the things. Because we didn't get that far in Japanese class. Because <laughs> it's yeah called Taka. <laughs> hmm. Okay. And it's funny because it comes with instructions on how to put this action figure together that we didn't that, that doesn't come with it. You don't get. You don't get that guy. That's probably a different Revoltech. It is, I'm sure. But why would it give me? It's cool. I like the light up eyes. Isn't it cute? It is a cool little concept. It's, it's oh, uh, I love him. yeah. That's a box. I would like to know it's what something this does. Different. It's got a good articulation. For a box toy, yeah. And he's got the articulation that clicks into place. So he stays wherever you put him. And I like the light up eyes. It's really cool. Like, oh, he's so cute. What a brilliant idea. Totally something different. Just something you won't see all the time, you know? You I actually like do see that pretty much all the time. You do? Cardboard boxes, they're everywhere. I don't. Just see get them. out and look over by the dumpster out there. I saw a couple today. No light of eyes, though. So what do you think of that? I, I love it. I think this is great. I think it's funny that it's got the little Amazon logos all over it, the little happy face smile thing on the side. Makes it look like it's made out of used Amazon boxes. I like that it comes in a tiny Amazon box. That's adorable in packaging. Big Amazon Wonder, box. How much you're you have gonna to keep? pay for the Amazon license to make a box? I don't know. I don't know. How, how could they charge for that? Yeah, I'm gonna make a cardboard box replica. I wonder why we don't have an American version of this. Yeah, like why was it only Amazon Japan? Probably because it's just a Japanese company. But we should thank Taka. Yes, yeah, so thank you to Taka, our friend of Japan, who hmm. was able to pick this up oh. for us. Hmm. We really appreciate it. So That's really cool. And if you have a friend in Japan, you should ask them to pick one up for you. It's kind of <laughs> ironic that it's the same size as Taka, too. <laughs> 
And if you don't have a friend in Japan, find Taka and become friends with there him. There you go. We just keep talking about his phone number and address. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we could figure out what this is. Maybe the head goes in there. No. If anybody knows what this box is, Maybe it's it has just something a little, to do with the Japanese Postal Service. It's a little plastic box with like air holes in the top. And it's got something on the bottom. It just says Revolt Tech, I think. Strange. It's, like Rev, it's a Rev container. Maybe some of the Revolt Tech figures come with like accessories you it's put got in here a, or something. Yeah. But it has an Amazon. I don't know. Weird. It's not like you can use it as another head, maybe? <laughs> I can see. <laughs> there you go. Not That's what quite you as good. Not, not as good, no. No. We should get the, the FedEx license and make a FedEx... <laughs> <laughs> FedEx box toy. Yeah. Some, Heck, why not USPS? Someone will buy it, already, I did. <laughs> why not you, the Postal Service, and then it could just that go to fun. all of their uh, locations already? They have an infrastructure built in. Huge fan base. Mm -hmm. Who doesn't little, like mail? Revoltec poster. Very cool. It's a way hey, to go. Men love mail. Way to go. Uh, how about another skunk toy? All right, another skunk toy. No, this is just skunk food. These are monkey toys. Well, but it's from skunk foo. This is from something called skunk foo. Do we know what it is? Skunk foo is well. First of all, these toys are from Zizzle, and skunk foo is a cartoon that debuted on the children's BBC back in 2007 and it just recently last year debuted on Cartoon Network here in the States. So I don't, I haven't seen it. I don't know if it's a good cartoon. I just thought these toys look kind of cool so I picked them up. They were at, I think it was a Target we got these, right? Um, toys R Us. Toys R Us. So I opened it up just thinking I was going to get these cool monkeys to be able to play with. Just kind of sit around, check them out. Have monkey. That's but then cool. it also came with this awesome, I don't know if you remember back when we were children, they had uh, no, Captain no, Crunch, no. had little crunch flyers. They were a little plastic oh, disc yeah. and it came with a little tiny key and you just, like, and you just kind it. of flick mm -hmm. it and it flew a little, little frisbee. Well, they made this into a game where you're supposed to set these figures up and, knock them down. and then knock them down by flipping these little Here. things awesome. at you. And they flip really well, Hold too. Hold on, I can't make them stand. Use the other guy. Stands better. Here. Put him up there. Knock him down. Knock him down. <laughs> <laughs> oh, woo! These don't have any articulation. Nope. Just. Mm. I think they're just solid PVC. Straight up PVC figures. They kind of look like ducks. Oh! I got it. <laughs> I just got bearded in the back. <laughs> oh. Check them out, though. This is fun. That is fun. It's a good. Flip it uh, like that. Good thing these monkeys very much do look like ducks. Very bill like. Take that. There it is. <laughs> so they also have the other figures include rabbit and baboon, skunk and dragon, panda and skunk, and they range in price from about thirteen dollars to seventeen dollars. Is that an ox? Oh, I didn't see the fox. There's a yeah. There's a skunk, a panda. Those are sold separate. Each one sold separately. There's a fox sold separately, and then the pig, oh, the pig. comes I with a dummy. There's a oh. pig and a dummy, and then the two ninja monkeys come as a pack of two. And the rabbit and baboon are a pack of two, and the skunk and the dragon are a pack of two. Um, you might know Zizzle as the company that made the um, pirates. the Pirates of the Caribbean three and three quarter inch action figure line. That was pretty much everywhere. Target had them. True. Um, so this is their next. Or another of their toy lines. I think these monkeys are cool. I don't understand what the bill on the monkey is, but well, it's just now I watched underbite. the promo for this show online. It's cute. It just looks like a kind of a normal kids cartoon, but it looks very uh, Kung Fu Panda okay. like, but not you know it's in that Saturday morning cartoon style. Not except Kung this Fu is Panda. Kung Fu, not Kung Fu. Right. Totally different. I just like that they were ninja monkeys, and then I got the bonus of the cool toy that you can flip around. Exactly. That we lost. Fun figures. Right, yeah, lost uh, around the room somewhere. Fun figures. You know what else is fun? Events. Events. Happenings. Do it. Stuff events. to do. I like events. How do about you... Choking Hazard? The biggest little custom show featuring tons of customized one inch mini Gwyns. Currently it? at its first stop <laughs> of its indefinite tour at Kaiju X3 inside the bead shop in Phoenix, Arizona through the end of February. Visit GwynArmy.com for more tour info. Thanks, I'll do that. And don't forget, if you're not in the show yet and you want to be in it, get a mini Gwyn. Also go to GwynArmy.com. Go to Gwyn Army, get a mini Gwyn. 
customize it, send it in. We'll put it in the show wherever it's at on its tour. Yes, the show will just keep building and building like that snowball. There's that's over 80 down the so hill. far, so keep going. We want to get this thing like massive. 200 plus. I want like a thousand. Are you kidding me? Let's, Shoot high. Let's start with 200. Thousand. <laughs> I want as many mini Gwyns as you had toothpicks in your beard. 2,222. I don't think we made that many mini Gwyns. <laughs> oh, yeah. You can also check out the Vader Project. This is 100 custom Vader heads at the Andy Warhol Museum in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania from February 13th to May 3rd. Check out myspace.com slash the Vader Project. Or if you really have to go take a look at somebody's giant poop, <laughs> accessorize your shit. Join Anna Chambers for tailor-made poop plushes at Switcheroo Workshop in Pasadena, California on February 13th. MySwitcheroo.com You'll probably get hepatitis if you go, but, you know. <laughs> wasn't, weren't we saying, really like, poop toys, poop. Was, that's, that's so 2008. Poop toys are that's the old. lowest common denominator. Let's like, move on. What could be more ridiculous and childish? Ah, oh, God, this isn't supposed to be a review, but... How about pee toys? Seriously, though. <laughs> You know what's cool, though, is the idea behind this show, that you go, you meet the artist, you buy the toy, she, uh, I think you pick a custom accessory, and she customizes the plush that you just bought, and you get it straight from the artist, so you're supporting the artist, you get a custom piece, you get to meet the artist, I don't know, I think that's kind of a cool idea for an event. That is cool. I like it. Exactly. And vulgar, too. That's what I thought. I like the AIDS blood version. <laughs> There's no AIDS blood version. Yeah, AIDS blood. You are making things up. <laughs> Why not? It's already shit. We also have a cool custom of the week. I think that's a bit of a hop. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Shit to AIDS blood? Feces, AIDS blood, both refuse. Alright. <laughs> cool custom of the week? What garbage juice? What garbage juice plush? The juice that comes out of your garbage? I think it's called leachate. Is that For a good character name? <laughs> cool. Le it's leachate. He's urban. He's got a mustache made out of poop. Cool, cool. Cool customs of the week. Oh. For this week's cool custom, we have Night of the Loving Dead by Squidnik. These are just in time for Valentine's Day. There are 15 of these custom dunnies available over at the Kid Robot Forum, as well as five each of the Chocolate Zombie Death, Blue Boy Robot, and Pink Girl Robot. They're $35 each, and I think that's pretty cool to offer a little limited run cute dunny. If, yeah, you're, really cool. if you happen to have a girlfriend, you're probably not on the Kid Robot Forum. Let's face but it, I'm nobody just... <laughs> watching this has a girlfriend. <laughs> I'm just playing, people. Get one of these for your significant other this Valentine's Day. Or They're get awesome. it for your mom. Come up from the basement and give it to your mom. Or oh, that'd be happy. sweet. Just buy everybody. Oh, I want for yourself. <laughs> Fuck giving <laughs> it to somebody else. Too. Here you go. Treat yourself on Valentine's Day. Don't let everybody else have all the fun just because they have a significant other and you don't. Get one for yourself. And it's safer. To, what, never mind. End the show. <laughs> so don't forget to save money with the coupon code TOYBREAK. That's all one word. TOYBREAK. At 3DRetro.com, FunkRush.com, and OctoberToys.com, where each of those sites will give you 20% off, again, with coupon code TOYBREAK. And look at what I happen to be wearing. FunkRush shirt right here. Wow, Cute. look at that. I use that coupon code almost everywhere I go. When you walk into stores, are you like, yes... Ralph's, I would like to buy my groceries with coupon code TOY BREAK. Toy break. And then, you know, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. It worked at the gas station, but not at the fisherman's store. Can I? Big uh, five. They said, yes, fine, I'll give you a discount. <laughs> Try it. We, if it works, call us and tell us. So visit the website, toybreak.com, for show notes about this show. You can check out the archive for past episodes. Join the contest on our forum. You know what else about the website? What? Uh, it's been updated just a little bit. We, uh, it has. We updated the menu and we updated the archive page, the past episode archive page. It's a little bit cleaner and easier to use, so hopefully you will all enjoy. Call us, leave us a voicemail like Hal Works did when he so gratefully Told us how praised <laughs> the dumb Mighty Mug, as he said. So, 818-MI-GOOD, call us, leave a voicemail. And or we'll make fun of you. Send us, <laughs> probably we will. You could get me fun of all time. Or just send us a uh, MP3 if you don't have a phone. <laughs> Email it to us at info at toybreak.com. Because everybody on the internet doesn't have a phone. Email us other things. Whatever. <laughs> um, you can also check out our toy briefs on youtube.com slash toybreak. 
And uh, that's pretty much it. That wraps it up. And thanks for watching. We'll see you next week.